Okay, so we have to integrate this indefinite integral. So the idea here is to realize that we can factor x squared minus 9. So we can write it as 1 over x minus 3 times x plus 3. It's the difference of squares. And the reason we want to do this is because now what we can do is we can break this up using what's called partial fractions. Then after we break it up with partial fractions, we can just integrate each piece. So that's the idea uh, behind using partial fractions is that you have some expression inside an integral and you break it up and then you integrate the individual pieces. So here we have distinct linear factors. So this is a one, this is a one, so they're linear and they're different. So we have a over x minus three plus b over x plus three. So there's two ways to proceed. There's the regular way where you basically multiply both sides by x minus three and x plus three and then plug in numbers and solve for a and b. Or there's the shortcut way which is called the cover up method. So let's take the shortcut way and hopefully it makes some sense. So to find a using what's called the cover up method, basically you look over here on the left and you cover up what's under a with your finger. So here we have x minus three under the a. So if you were to cover it up over here, and I'm gonna do this, or I've covered it up, <laughs> um, you say, okay, it's covered up. So you ask yourself, what makes this piece here zero? Or what makes this fraction undefined? Well, three. So what you do is you plug a three in over here on the left. So one over three plus three. See, if you hadn't covered up the x minus three, you would get three minus three and you would get zero. So that's why you cover it up and then you plug in a three everywhere else. So you just get one sixth. Let's find B. So to find B, you look at what's under B. You say, okay, what makes this piece undefined? Or what makes the bottom zero? So negative three, negative three creates a problem. So you go over here to the left and you cover up the X plus three. So I'll cover it up with yellow, boom. And then you plug in negative three everywhere else. So we'll get one over negative three minus three. And this is negative one over six. So the cover-up method takes some practice, but once you get it, it's super easy. And this, let me emphasize that it is absolutely worth learning. If you ever take more math, you ever study like differential equations, or if you're going into engineering, especially electrical engineering, you will use this stuff. And the cover-up method is a lifesaver. It's probably one of the most important things that you can actually learn in the calculus class. Um, it's just so powerful. Okay, so enough about the cover-up method. Let's keep going. So notice now we have A, and now we have B. And so you're supposed to plug it in up here. So it's supposed to be like 1 6th over x minus 3. And then uh, the next one is plus negative 1 6th x plus 3. However, no one actually writes it like this um, because this is not useful to us. So the idea is we pull out the 1 6th and we pull out the negative 1 6th. And then we just integrate each piece. So ideally, we write it like this, 1 6th integral 1 over x minus 3 dx minus 1 sixth integral 1 over x plus 3 dx. And this is equal to the original integral, right? Because we, we go back up and show you, we, we rewrote this piece, this 1 over x squared minus 9 is equal to this, which is equal to all of this. So we've basically rewritten it. These are both really easy integrals. You could probably like skip all the work here and, and still get it right and it's fine, but I'll show the work. So u is x minus 3, du is dx. And then for the one over here on the right, I'll use a different letter. How about w is x plus 3, dw is dx. So rewriting what we have, we end up with 1 sixth integral. So 1 over u, because u is x minus 3, du minus 1 sixth, and then 1 over x plus 3, so that was 1 over w, dw. Integrating the first one, we get 1 sixth, ln, absolute value of u, that's the formula, minus 1 sixth, ln, absolute value of w, plus our constant of integration, capital C. And then last but not least, we plug in the u. So you could have skipped the steps here and been fine. I mean, it's, it's kind of acceptable at this point. So ln x plus 3 plus c. And that would be the final answer. So you see there's no harm 
and going from here to the answer, um, especially if you notice that whenever this is your u, du is just dx. You're not going to get like some constant or anything. If it was something like you know 1 over 3 minus x, then you got to be careful because when you call the bottom piece u, your du is negative dx. So you do get an, a negative sign. So uh, it's important to think about it before you decide to uh, skip steps. And when in doubt, always show all the work. That's the, the safest way. So hopefully this, hopefully this video made sense, and hopefully the cover-up method made sense, and uh, it's been helpful. Um, that's it.